Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss grade 7 mathematics third term test paper for the upcoming term test i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos question number 1 write down the number of symmetrical axes in the given figure and draw them in this figure we can have two symmetrical axes like this so two symmetrical axes question number 2 if a equals composite numbers between 0 and 11 write down the set of a with its elements and write down the number of elements what are the elements in set a composite numbers between 0 and 11 Uh, one is not a composite then 2 3 are prime then 4 is the next composite first composite then 5 is a prime 6 is a composite 7 is a prime 8 is a composite number 9 a composite uh, 10 a composite number so these are the elements of set a in a how many elements are there in set a 5 then question number 3 write down the digital root of 8528 we can add all the digits up to a up to one digit here 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8 what is the addition here uh, 10 uh, 15 then 15 plus 8 is 23 now uh, again we can add the two digits here 2 plus 3 The value is five. So five is the digital root of this number. Question number four is two thousand six hundred AD a leap year? No. What is the reason for that? Two thousand six hundred is not a divisible of is not divided by is not divided by four hundred. in a year which is a multiple of 100 we have to check whether it is uh, divided by 400 uh, 400 that's only it becomes a leap year question number 5 we are given to simplify this one plus 5.5 plus minus 8.7 a positive number and a negative number Negative integer number. So uh, first we have to take the difference between the two magnitudes. Eight point seven minus five point five. The answer is three point two. Then we have to take the sign with the largest magnitude, that is minus sign. Then question number six. Write down the value of a plus b of the triangle ABC. There is a small mistake in this uh, triangle given here. This is a right angle triangle. Uh, we will take this angle as a and this one as b. So we know that the sum of the three uh, angles in a triangle is the three interior angles of the of a triangle is 180 degrees the sum uh, a plus b plus 90 is 180 a plus b equal to 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees then question number 7 express 2 hours and 45 minutes as a ratio in its simplest form 2 hours 45 minutes we have to convert in uh, the both uh, measures into the same unit into minutes uh, 1 hour equal to 60 minutes so 2 hours equal to 120 minutes 120 to 45 uh, how can you simplify this one we can divide by uh 15 let's divide by 
15 times uh, 3 is 45. Then for 120, how many 15s are there? For 32 15s, uh, uh, there are 4 30s here. So 4 times 2 is 8. If you multiply 15 by 8, you get 150. So this is the simplest answer. Then question number 8, we are given to simplify this one. 9x plus 8 minus 7x minus y minus 4. First we have to take the um, like terms together. 9x with minus 7x then y, minus y then plus 8 minus 4. You can simplify these two like terms. 9x minus 7x uh, is 2x. 2x minus y then plus 8 minus 4 is plus 4. So this one is the correct answer. Question number 9. If p equals xy minus 15. p equals xy minus 15. Find the value of p when x equals y n. x equals 5 and y equals 10. We have to substitute. Uh, 5 for x and 10 for y here. Here xy means the multiplication of x and y. So 5 is multiplied by 10. Minus 15. So 50. Minus 15. What is the answer? 35. That is the value of p. Then uh, question number 10. Length, breadth and the volume. Of a cuboid shaped solid are 5 cm, 4 cm and 60 cubic cm respectively. Find the height of the solid. Volume is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. Volume is given as 60 cubic cm. Then length is 5 cm, breadth is 4 cm. We are going to find the height h equal to 60 divided by 5 times 4, 20. Then 3 centimeters is the answer. Question number 11. In a scale diagram, 8 meter are represented by 2 centimeter. Express the scale as a ratio. Ratio. 2 centimeter represents 8 meters. Then we have to convert uh, these meters into centimeters. 2 centimeter represents 800 centimeters as 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So uh, if that means 1 centimeter represents 400 centimeters if you divide both sides by 2. Then the ratio is 1 to 400. Question number 12. We are given to uh, fill the blanks in this cage. Here uh, x is multiplied by 2. Then uh, out of the box it, it comes 2x. Then, um, then 5 should be added to 2x. Then it becomes 2x plus 5. Then the other side uh, in reverse 2x plus 5 equal to 7. Then... Uh, the opposite of plus 5 is minus 5. Then uh, that is equal to 2. That means 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Then 2 should be divided by 2. That means 1. So x, x should be x is equal to 1. That is the answer here. Question number 13. A, blast, a bus leaves Kalambu at 7.30 a.m. and reached Amradhapur at 1 p.m. Find the time taken for the journey. 1 p.m. means in standard form 13 hours. Then 7.30 a.m. can be written as 7 hours 30 minutes. Then we have to subtract this amount from 30. Uh, 60 minus 30. We are taking 1 hour from this side. 
is 30. 30 minutes. Then here the remaining is 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. Then uh, the bus has taken 5 hours. 5 hours 30 minutes. For the journey. Then question number 14. Select the larger number from 4 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 4. If you expand this, 4 to the power 3 means 4 multiplying by 4 multiplying by 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Then 3 to the power 4 means 3 multiplying by 3 multiplying by 3 multiplying by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81. So 81 is the larger one. Uh, we, we can use this sign, 4 to the power 3 is less than 3 to the power 4. Question number 15. We are given to simplify this one, meters, centimeters, then 8 meters, 50 centimeters, subtract. 3 meters, 70 centimeters, the subtraction. Uh, we can't subtract 70 from 50, so that we have to take 1 meter from meter side. It becomes 100. 100 uh, plus 50 is 150. 150 minus 70 is 80. Now the remaining is 7 here. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 meters, 80 centimeters is the answer. Question number 16. Uh, length of a square is x plus 3 centimeters. Write down an algebraic expression for the perimeter. Perimeter means we have to add uh, 4 x plus 3's. That means we can multiply x plus 3 by 5. x plus 3 can be multiplied by 4, 4. There are 4 sides in a square. So x plus 3 should be multiplied by 4. This is in centimeters. Then question number 17. Fill in the blanks using less than or greater than. 7, 3 over 8. The other side, 7, 1 over 3. As the, uh, both are mixed numbers, as the whole number part is equal here, we can compare the two fractional parts. Out of the fractions, 3 over 8 and 1 over 3, what is the larger one? We can compare them by using equivalent fractions. The common denominator is 24 here. 24 can be taken as the common denominator. The first fraction can be multiplied by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Then the second one by uh, 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 1 is 8. So this one is the larger one. So we can use this sign. Then question number 18. O is the center of the circle. Write down the names of OC and OB. OC. OC is the radius and AB. AB is the diameter. OC, radius of the circle. Then AB is the diameter. Diameter is twice the length. Twice the length of the radius. Question number 19. Find the LCM and HCF of 12, 18 and 24 using the following products. 12 uh, is written as 2 multiplying by 2 multiplying by 3. Then 18 equal to 2 multiplying by 3 multiplying by 3. 24 equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then uh, first we will find the HCF of this, uh, these numbers. We can uh, circle 2 here. Common factor. Then 
three uh, also can be circled like this. Then HCF is equal to the multiple of two and three. That is six. Then how to take the least common multiple LCM? Uh, this is can be written as 2 to the power 3, 2 into 3 to the power 1. Then 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2. 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1. To take the LCM, we have to take the highest power C. Uh, if you take uh, the prime number 2, Prime factor 2, the highest power is 2 to the power 3. Then 3, highest power is 3 to the power 2. Then uh, we have to take the product of these two powers. 8, here 9. So LCM is equal to 72. Last question, question number 20. Fill in the blanks using suitable words. Uh, we are given these two. A. The tessellation made using one or more shapes is called semi-pure tessellation. In a pure tessellation, only one shape is used. So, if you use one or more shapes, it is a semi-pure tessellation. Then, a B part, the sum of the angles around the vertex is 360 degrees. In a tessellations, which are made by using rectilinear plane figures, the answer is 360 degrees.